Since December of last year, the Atlanta streetcar has transported many people throughout the heart of the city. The streetcar covers 2.7 miles, making 12 stops, including Woodruff Park, the King Historic District, and Centennial Olympic Park. It's very like easy to get on and takes you in like common areas. It's pretty good and it's yeah. nice that it's free right now. And it's very convenient. It helps a lot of people who can't pay for the MARTA. And I go to Georgia State and it's right here and I can get back to my dorm really easy if I just get on the streetcar. The streetcar is operated at no charge to customers since its launch. However, beginning January 1st, 2016, passengers will have to pay $1 for a ride. I know a lot of people, like, they're going to be upset, and most people start walking, and if you have little kids, and it's going to be really bad. It's going to be cold soon, so I know it's not going to be a good thing, but I know the city of Atlanta has to make money somehow, so. We probably won't ride it anymore. <laughs> we don't get how they're going to charge people yeah, to that's check true. it. I've watched it get built, and I've seen it come around, but I've never actually gotten on it. I don't necessarily like it, but it doesn't make sense to just have it stay free the whole time because then it wouldn't be sustainable. How is it going to keep running if it doesn't get any money towards it? I mean, it's good for them to make money, but it's bad for everyone. That's, people are going to stop it. using it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Reporting for GSU-TV, I'm Daniel Braverman.